Tinubu's government is broke and can't pay workers 35,000 naira wage and the 40% salary increase. There are strong indications that the federal government promised to pay additional 35,000 naira wage award to workers for six months may have suffered a huge setback due to lack of cash. Good day all and welcome back to our YouTube channel, Everyday People's Voice. Most especially to our new subscribers and our returnees for being part of our outstanding news outlets that is devoted and committed to breaking the latest news and headlines to you as it comes. Yeah, we also bring to you news in politics, current affairs, business news, sports, entertainment, and so much more around Nigeria and the world, including where and when they happen. Because, as you all know, our sources of information are reliable and accurate. That's why we are the window to the world and the step ahead of others. Thank you all for staying tuned. But before I go further, if this is your first time of coming across our YouTube channel, please be so kind to subscribe, like, and share our videos. In sharing our videos, you are doing so much for us and good Lord, we continue to bless you. Also, click on the notification bell so that whenever we have our breaking news, you will be among the first people to get the report. Once again, I say thank you, my esteemed viewers, for staying tuned. A report by Vanguard indicated that the federal government does not have enough money to pay all federal employees. As it initially announced after a last-minute meeting with the organized labor to avert its planned nationwide strike. Now, wow. Nigeria, my country. Government not get money to pay workers but they get money to buy <laughs> to buy yacht they get money to buy cars for oga wife <laughs> 1.3 billion a how much so they some get uh, billions to buy perfume for office some get billions to put the portrait for office <laughs> oh God, when will Nigeria learn? When President Bola Tinubu entered into a memorandum of understanding with the Nigeria Labor Congress, also known as the NLC, and the Trade Union Congress, also known as the TUC, on October 2nd, he had accepted to pay 35,000 naira to each federal government worker in addition to the payment of 40% special salary increase to the workers all in the bid to cushion the effect of the subsidy removal. My country people, I yes say Nigeria don't gain over 1 trillion naira after the removal of this subsidy. But federal government now, they don't go publish all these kind of things. Make the common Nigeria, even the year, make that they get hope. The announcement was well received by workers, although the NRC expressed some reservations about the awards announced by the chief of staff to the president, Femi Bajabi Amelia. However, while all federal workers are expectant of getting more cash from the federal treasury, following the promise it was gathered that the federal government does not have the required money 
to pay all categories of workers under its employ. The lack of cash to pay the workers has been expressly communicated to the respective government agencies by the government, which has also asked them to source for funds and pay their workers, rather than expect any funding from the federal accounts. It was learned that while the government has since paid workers under what it called treasury-funded staff, workers in most departments and agencies that collect their allocation from the Consolidated Revenue Fund will not be paid by the federal government, the report stated. Rather than being paid directly by the government, the affected federal MDAs have been ordered to source for funds internally to pay their workers both the 35% wage award and the 40% special salary increase. A directive that has left most of the MDAs frustrated as workers prepare for a fight with them over non-payment like their counterparts in ministry. <laughs> It don't set to. If they see what you do, but they do so, you don't they take their head, they knock each other. Indications of the federal government's inability to pay all the workers under its employed emerged when the National Income and Wages Commission wrote to the chief of staff, to the president, secretary, to the government of the federation, ministers, and heads of government parastatals and agencies telling them the category of workers who should be paid and those to fend for themselves. In the memo dated October 19, 2023, which referenced the National Income and Wages Commission, asked all the MDAs on consolidated revenue not to expect government allocation in paying the award of their workers. Hmm. Although most of them are not revenue-generating agencies, the Income and Wages Commission in the memo signed by the Chairman and Chief Executive Officer Mr. Ekpo Unta asked them to either use their internally generated revenue to pay their workers or rely on statutory allocation to pay some. Accordingly, the implementation of the 35000 per month wage award for all federal government ministries, departments and agencies will be funded from the Treasury. Oh God, Nigeria, my country. Some of the workers who spoke in confidence said they were shocked that <laughs> they could turn around to circumvent the decision of the president to pay all workers from its from its till without discrimination between treasury and non-treasury funded agency. What is the meaning of that? Eh? You can imagine what the Nigerian government is doing. No money to pay, but there's enough money to buy expensive cars for foolish legislators, billions to spend on first lady, eh? and other useless expenditure. Nigeria have indeed eh, voted the right person. Unto, I go see you now for my next video. Bye-bye.